Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Well, it's Christmas Day, hopefully. Maybe I'll have this edited in time. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll pass out after afternoon tea. And you'll see this the day after Christmas. And it won't matter anymore because the season's already over. Because we move on so quickly. That's why nothing means anything anymore. I know what you're thinking this Christmas season. Man, if only I could see Tiana Marginu, Marginu or whatever, and Bryce Hall for Christmas. Because they're going on tour. Yippee! No. The much-awaited touring details about TikTok star Bryce Hall and internet sensation Tiana Marginu. You know, sometimes I think that news articles just write Quack. and it doesn't matter anymore. Because everyone's amazing and everyone's fantastic. Unless it's me, then I'm just a troll. Two of the most controversial influencers have teamed up for a tour. The ego both of them must have is extraordinary, considering it's Christmas tour as well. I mean, who the hell wants to see Bryce Hall and Tiana Marganu? And you might not know who the hell these people are. All right, let's break it down. Bryce Hall is a TikToker. So basically, if you're not a teenage girl or going through puberty or gay as hell, you don't care who he is. He's most famous for getting roughed up by the Ace family's father, the little Latin guy. I don't know his name. But the look on Bryce Hall as blood poured out of his nose was priceless. It was like a moment of shock for him. It was absolutely delicious. <laughs> it's the best thing about the fight. The look on his face, he was like, wow, this hurts. Come on, see what you've got. Oh! Good girl. This is terrible, I had some problems. Oh well, better luck next time. I think I need help. Yeah, see you next time, fantasy man. No, I'm pissing blood. And Tiana Marganu, uh, she's like famous, still kinda. Like, if you're into this sort of sh I, I, like, she's best known for like being Jake Paul's ex-wife. Jake Paul ducks her like he ducks punches or ducks real fights. That would make more sense because they all seem rigged if you ask me. I'd pay to see her in a ring with Jake Paul. How quickly he'd run out of the Quack. Coliseum. I should be nicer. I saw the poor girl hitting on Jake Paul on Twitter and him just like pretending like she doesn't exist. Now to be real with you, this is kind of whack. Like nobody's really interested in this. You might go, how the hell do you know that Gundam? Well, Tiana has a Twitter account with like 2.4 million followers, right? And then she tweeted out on November 15th, what should Bryce and I name our tour? Think Christmas laughing my ass off. Ugh. The only thing funny was for an account with millions of followers, this only got 1,231 likes. If that wasn't a sign that maybe this tour shouldn't have happened, that was it. But then again, she's an attractive white girl that's popular for existing. So her level of self-awareness is in the same level as Dark Side Phil. And you will can be, completely disagree with me when it comes to cuisine. This is my personal take. When I'm ordering food or I'm going to a restaurant, I'm paying you to make that food edible and easily edible for me. I don't want a project. When I go to a seafood restaurant, I don't want to have to crack open a giant lobster or crab and suck the meat out like an asshole. I don't want to do a lot of work. Give it to me in a presentation that I could just eat it and enjoy it. That's what I'm paying you for, right? This, I believe this dish, chicken adobo, is $14. For $14, you're telling me you couldn't take the meat off the bone. Oh, <laughs> Like, it's the easiest thing to do is to just throw the meat on the bone in something, cook it, and then give it to me. Ironically enough, they put out their low, low prices. Oh, wait, no. The low prices came after nobody bought tickets. My bad. Originally, Party On Ticket Package, the ultimate experience. Our Party On Ticket Package gives you an amazing experience. You get Tiana and the Bryce Hall panel. Mmm, delicious. Join Tiana and Bryce Hall. An amazing Q&A session. Available the first... 300 people on the ticket party on buyers only so buy now fly open party party with tiana and bryce and special guests at a big party line meet take a picture or tiktok with tiana and bryce see them quicker with this ticket tiana and bryce stole christmas posters 
Two hundred dollars plus fourteen twenty six. What's that? Is that the tax or something? The ego you gotta have to think like people would spend this much money during the pandemic to take a TikTok with you. And both of them gotta be rich. So what's the point of this? How is it I'm more generous than rich people? I'm like giving away sh for Christmas, and these two f knuckles are like, hey, you could pay us, and we'll do a stupid TikTok with you. Anyway, uh, the the sale was so hot, it was so good. People loved it that they, they dropped the price by $100. Literally, this tour was dropping the price like Battlefield 2042. Meet, pick, tick. See Tiana and Bryce and get a picture with them. On the photo line, meet up. Our most affordable ticket. Oh, I'm glad they've got affordable tickets. Note that this meet session starts early. 9 a.m., $89 plus 10.07. Not a bad deal if I say so myself. <laughs> Kill me, please. I want to die. Oh, whoa. This one got a price cut, too. Oh, boy. My Christmas jollies came early. I wish I had this level of, like, self-confidence. Like, I envy them for being rich, but I also envy them for the fact that they literally put this out and straight face believed that they would get this money. And it was obviously padded to make extra cash. Because how can you slice the price in half? The profit margin must have been huge originally. Until nobody bought any tickets. I guess there was the big snafu. Have brunch with Tiana or Bryce. You'll have a deluxe brunch at the table with just you, Tiana, or Bryce. Or host Owen Holt? Who the f*** is he? I'd be pretty pissed if I gave $500 and I wasn't eating with Tiana. Even though she has absolutely nothing to say. Really good. I'm about to go on tour with Bryce. Your boyfriend, right? No, I'm single. Come on. Really? <laughs> Yeah, when did you broke up? I'm looking for lip gloss right now. Okay. I'm about to tour with Bryce, so we're really excited oh, nice. about that. Nice. That's really awesome. So when you want, when you gonna have a date here in LA? What'd you say? That you're gonna tour, so when you gonna be? What'd you say? In they had 1980s gay face. You know what that is? Remember in the 80s when gay people looked surprised all the time? <laughs> that chick must have been like annoying on such a level that we can't even fathom. Because Jake Paul hides from her. Think of that. There's someone out there that Jake Paul avoids. <laughs> Can you wrap your mind around that shit? <laughs> that Jake Paul is like, I can't take it. Ah, uh, the Christmas spirit. And a few other fans. Oh, so I pay $500. I got to sit with a couple bitches I don't like just to be near Tiana and sniff her hair. That's not good enough for me. You can even choose to sit right next to Tiana or Bryce or Owen while seats last. Add this to your order today. Whoa! Price drop of $200, baby. 18 seats remaining. Oh, whoa, check that out, bro. It started with 18 seats. Price drop, they still got 18 seats. That's got to be a hit to the ego. Tiana Talk Pass. How many passes they got going on? I'm tired of these passes. Join Tiana or for an or for an intimate session? What? I know I like sometimes I write wrong, but I don't have people working for me to proofread shit. Where they will talk with you about three different topics. You can pick which topic session you want to be a part of. I'm almost curious to know what these talk sessions are. I'm curious, not $250 curious, not even $10 curious. Okay, it's the same thing with Bryce. Uh, how many we got here? Tiana still has 33 remaining after cutting the price. Bryce sold too though. Good on you, Bryce. This must be some thirsty teenage girls. Well, that's Christmas for you with Tiana and Bryce, baby. The balls you gotta have, am I right? People want to see us in December for Christmas. Pay me $300 and you may ask three questions. As in all things Christmas, it has to be co-opted by agendas and just moronicism because that's where we are now. The only thing sadder than TikTok cringe is when dad's on TikTok, virtue signaling white privilege. Warning, this is going to trigger the Marshmallow Mafia. What's a Marshmallow Mafia? I'm dreaming of a world without white privilege Judicial sentencing that's fair Inclusive history lessons Equal 
Equal Pay Representation Or the freedom to barbecue without a Karen's stare I'm dreaming of a mayonnaise minority when God, if I ever get like this, I'm gonna kill myself If I ever become an old man, virtue signaling on the internet for stuff like this. I'm gonna put an end to it. Black folks survive traffic stops. Defunding the pol- I've survived many traffic stops, my friend. <laughs> what is this? Is this comedy? Is this where comedy is now? Cause I'm not laughing. I'm not even white. But my God, if I was, I'd be fed the f <laughs> up. I'll tell you that right now. You know, I've been watching a lot of documentaries and I see like poor people in middle America. Nobody cares about them. Poor people in Seattle. Nobody cares. Poor people in LA. Nobody cares. Where's their privilege? The Appalachia region with a predominantly white population is home to some of the poorest counties in the entire country. I'm seeing white people in middle America surviving off of food stamps and free food. Where's their white privilege? I'm just saying, this is getting out of hand now. It's absolutely just getting ridiculous. Defunding the police is just right we fear to All I want is- Oh, let's not defund the police. I've been seeing a lot of crime spike. And everybody's like, defund the police more. Yeah, you say it to the guys in your neighborhood robbing you at gunpoint. And as someone who's been robbed many mother times, the last thing you want is some more defunding. People walking in stores stealing crap. And this guy's like, stop the police. Have less shitty you ever have your house broken into and your shit stolen? The first thing you thinking is not defund the police. This woman is upset with Santa Claus. That damn fictional white character. Santa is dumb. And I said what I said, especially if you're a POC teaching your kids this mess. FYP, Santa is not real. Cancel Santa. Have you ever just thought of just how empty people's lives are today? That this is a thought that's crossed your mind. I'm gonna cancel Santa. God forbid my kid have a fairy tale. Oh, the child believes in him. Like, as miserable as the world is, if I had a kid, I would think, you know, Santa's the good years. They get to sit there and think that there's this magical being just doing nice crap all over the world. No. No. I need all the credit. I need all the credit. Worship mommy, Bobby. One thing about me, I'm not doing Santa in my house. Y'all can do Santa. Y'all can have some jolly old white man taking credit for your hard work and your love for your kid <clears throat> but not me not this black woman y'all take enough credit from us as it is i'm not giving it to a fictional white man real white people take credit from us black people of color all the time and people of color in general that was an interesting thought Real white people take credit from us black people of color all the time. Isn't that like an oxymoron? But I'm not going to give them credit. I'm not going to give Santa credit. Yeah, let's not give Santa credit. Screw Santa. He's stealing from you. He's stealing your child's love. I just, I don't understand. What's with everyone's hatred of Santa? He got this going on. The Norwegian commercial for Santa Claus, he's got a boyfriend. Santa's gay as hell. Why does Santa look homeless? Is Santa from San Francisco? What does it take Santa to figure out he's gay over three years visiting one dude? Hi, gay. <laughs> what the hell is this? Santa's leading a gay romance once a year? Santa's like Freddie Mercury when he went to like a country where a queen wasn't that big. 
Dear Santa, all I want for Christmas is you. In 2022, Norway marks 50 years of being able to love whoever you want. <laughs> so the move to make was a commercial about Santa Claus being a cos closeted homosexual one night a year. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my. Oh, I got nothing for you. I mean, it was well shot. It was slightly compelling because it was funnily. It's funny and stupid, kind of. Santa's still in the closet, though. He's just gay one night a year. I, where's the victory? It's like Mrs. Claus smell Santa. It's like you smell like cheap cologne, Santa. Where have you been this night? Have you been smooching that other man? No, honey. I swear to God I'm not gay one night a year. That's why you're out all night on Christmas, you bastard. Ugh, I don't know. This is like the third or fourth thing I've seen where they made Santa Claus gay. I don't know what people want. They want Santa Claus gone. They don't want Santa Claus white. They want Santa Claus gay. Like, God, I missed the simpler times when it was just okay to go, Santa's a nice old white man. God forbid you think an old white man is nice. It's the most horrible thing you could do in America in 2021. We should just call this age of war and normalcy. Well, you want your kids to like Santa? Yeah, I think the kids should have a little fantasy. Well, that's disgusting. You're part of the problem. Adios, bichachos. Oh, and Merry Christmas, too. If that tickles your berries. This video is sponsored by Ridge Wallet, making sure that me being on the internet is somewhat profitable. Now I have two bags of packaged tuna. These wallets can hold up to 12 cards. They come in 30 different stylistic colors. I'm showing you... Burnt titanium and 18 karat gold because that's how large I'm living. I'm hood rich. These walls have over 40,000 five star ratings. Bulletproof RFID blocking technology. You could take a chainsaw to it. I don't know why you would, but the options there, if it ever really, you know, like if your wife left you and you decided she wasn't even getting your Ridge wallet. Oh, wait, no, it would survive the chainsaw. Forget that. Sorry. Go to RidgeWallet.com slash It's a Gundam and use their unique promo code It's a Gundam to save 10% off of your order on your next purchase. Free worldwide shipping and returns if you don't like the wallet.